Hi, this is part two video for chapter seven, invoices, trade discounts, and cash discounts. So we'll start here with section three, trade discount series, okay? <clears throat> a couple of terms, a change series with trade discount is a term used when a vendor offers a buyer more than one trade discount, okay? So then usually a series here. So for example, here's an example here, three discount series of 25%, 10%, and 5% is written 25, 10, 5, okay? So let, let's do some examples here to better understand what they mean by a trade discount here. And I'll make this a little larger for us. There we go. So let's talk about this for a minute. Okay, so we have here a calculate the net price for a trade discount for merchandise with a list price of $4,000 less trade discounts of 10, 15, and 25. So if you look down here at the math, it says here a trade discount of 4,000 times 10 is $400 or $4,000 minus $400 is $3,600. The next is a 15% discount. Again, I'm taking, now I'm taking $3,600 and multiplying it by 15% and I get $3,060. Now I'm taking the $360 multiplied by the 25% here and I'm getting the $2,295. So basically, your list price minus the net price of the $2,295 comes to $1,705. Okay, let's look at some more examples here. Let's calculate the net price by using what's called the net price factor, okay? So basically, we're going to calculate the net price of a trade discount for an amount of merchandise, again, with a list price of $4,000, less trade discounts of 10, 15, and 25. So I'm going to take 100 minus 10%, or 90, which equals 90%, 100% minus 15%, which is equals 85%, 100 minus 25%, which equals 75%. I'm going to multiply all three of these numbers together. I get 0.57375, long number. If I take $4,000 and multiply it by 50, 0.57375, I get $2,295, which is the same number we got here, okay? Just a different way of approaching the number, okay? In the next slide here, we're going to talk about here a, it says here, Motor City discount reveals an order of satellite radios for list price of $9,500 with a trade discount of 25, 13, and 8. Calculate a single equivalent discount in the trade discount rate. Okay, so how do we do that? It's again doing the, again, 100% minus 25%, 100% minus 13%, 100% minus 8%. Okay, you multiply all those numbers together, 0.75. 0.87 and 0.92, you get 0 0.6603. Now, if I take 1 minus this 0 0.6003, I get 30.3997, 39%, we'll say. I take the 39%, multiply it by $9,500, I get a what we call a single equivalent trade discount, trade discount amount of $3,797. Okay, I get one minus the net price factor, and then I take this single equivalent discount and multiply it by the list price. Okay. Moving on, this talks about terms of sale. Okay, is it this details that invoice must be when it must be paid if a cash and if a cash discount is being offered. The credit period. We have a net date and due date, so basically it's the last day of the credit the last day of the credit period, and then here we have the invoice date, the date the invoice is written, a cash discount period, discount date, and net date. Okay, so you can review those terms here. But let's talk about a few formulas. So in terms of sales, kind of written like for example, two N or N thirty. Okay, so two N says percent of cash discount days to take the discount. So let's say I'm going to get two percent discount if I, again, pay within that 10 days, okay? Then N, which is basically the net amount due, days to pay the net amount, okay? So it's basically saying, hey, here's my cash discount right here, all right? 
is my discount over the 10 days. But this here is my whole, this is my net date. Let's say it starts from October 15th to November 14th. So that's my 30 days here. If you look at this chart here, it says, hey, I got 10 days to pay at cash discount, or I got three days to pay at the whole the whole amount. Okay, some some sellers offer that option. Okay, and this helps them one set the um, expectation of what the buyer has to pay and when, and then two if there's any kind of discount by paying cash. Okay, so let's do some math here. Okay, so let's take an example here. A retail buys merchandise with an invoice amount of seven thousand dollars. Terms of sales are two n two ten and thirty. What amount of cash? What is the amount of cash discount? What is the amount to pay within by the by the by the tenth? Okay, so let's talk about this. Net price times the cash discount rate. So seven thousand dollars times a two percent discount, one hundred forty dollars. So basically, my net amount due is what six thousand eight hundred sixty dollars. So basically, saying hey, I'll get one hundred forty dollar discount on seven thousand dollars so if i pay it within 10 days i'm only paying six thousand eight hundred sixty dollars again that's your cash discount all right paying it in cash within that rate okay let's talk about a um partial payment credit okay we'll do an example here all right so let's see here it says metro wireless purchases twenty eight thousand nine hundred dollars in phones on november 25th with terms of sales of four twenty 330, okay, or N60, all right? So it's here, what is the net amount due if Metro Wire sends a partial payment of $5,000 on December 20th? So we bought it on November <clears throat> 25th, okay? So it says here, we're going to first do some math. November 25th to December 20, 20th, that's 25 days. So let's look here. Let's see. So I'm not going to get a 4% here because it's 25 days. It's saying, hey, I'll give you 4% if it's paid within 20 days. Well, uh-uh. It's paid within 25 days. So now they're right here at 3% discount. So a 3% discount applies. So we got that, all right? So now we're going to do partial payment, which is $5,000. So they owe $28,900, but they're going to pay $5,000, okay? So basically it's saying here $5,000. 100% minus the 3% to 97, 5,000 divided by 0.97 comes to $5,154, okay? It says here, net pay minus the partial payment credit, all right? So basically, they're getting a credit now, $28,900, so they pay that $5,000. But basically, they're getting a credit, too, of the, the difference between the $5,000, let's look carefully, minus the, you know, the difference between the five thousand minus this 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 partial payment credit is one hundred fifty four dollars sixty four cents. Okay, so if you think about it, by paying that five thousand dollars within that thirty day period, and they're getting a three percent discount, they're saving one hundred and fifty four dollars. Okay, so now it's saying, hey, so I made my five thousand dollar payment. All right. $28,900 minus the $5,154 comes to $23,745. Okay, let's find a future date using the days and calendar. Okay, so this basically helps me find the, this chart here helps me find a future date using calendar, days in a year calendar, okay? And Excel does a lot of math on that for you so you can just plug in like a specific date in in the term dates it will do it for you so if let's say for example it says march 25th equals 84 days and it's doing 25th it's 85 days so the total date here is june 18th so this chart kind of helps you with that but what i'm getting at is is that you know excel if you're putting in you can put in the actual date plus the number of days, like the due date, it will calculate that for you, okay? And we have actually have an example in Chapter 7 using that calculation. Let's see here. Let's do this example. An invoice is dated May 5th with terms of 4, 15, and 35. What is this count date and net date, okay? Again, so if the invoice is dated May 5th and the terms are 4, 15, and 30, so hey, I could say, hey, if the if, if it's the invoice is dated May fifth, if I do a, if I pay within fifteen days, I'll get that four percent discount, okay? But N thirty means I must pay the invoice, invoice in full, 
within 30 days. So May 5th plus 30 days, okay? Again, Excel figures out this math for you, all right? It's June 4th, okay? So basically, Excel can figure out this math for you, but I'm thinking May 5th plus the 30 days, okay? And you can look at a calendar and whatnot, all right? A couple, a couple of different ways of solving this, this answer, okay? All right, so in the month dating, okay, let's talk about that, okay? It says end of month dating, depending on the invoice date, terms of a sale start and end date of the month. Okay, so it says here, let's see, an invoice is dated August 25th with terms of 415 EOM. What is the discount date and net date, okay? So it's saying here, after the 25th of the month, the term of the sale, terms of sales begin after the end of the following month. So it says here, the discount date is October 15th. <clears throat> plus 20 days is November 4th. <clears throat> so basically it's saying, hey, you know, the discount date's October 15th, 20 days, you got to November 4th, okay? And finally, it says here, an invoice is dated January 15th with terms of 320 ROG. The goods are delayed in shipment and arrive March 2nd. Oh no, what is the discount date on that date? So the discount date is March 2nd plus the 20, which is March 22nd, okay? And then the net date is March 22nd plus 20 days, okay? So they're kind of giving you, uh, uh, it says receipt of goods, ROG dating, it says here. What the term is, is that, hey, I'm not going to apply these dates, these you know, these particular discount dates or net dates until you receive the goods. So when the buyer receives the goods, does the good receipts here, okay, you know, um, then the dates apply. This is kind of doing business in good faith because sometimes the buyer or seller doesn't have control over maybe the freight or whatnot, the shipping or whatnot. Again, it could be delayed or whatnot. So that's kind of doing more business in good faith here. And it says here, let's do one more example, extra. It says the extra date and the buyer receives an extra discount period as an incentive to the purchaser for slow, medium moving, or out of season merchandise. What's the discount date and net date for invoices dated November 6th with terms of 4, 15, and 30 extra? Okay. So we're saying November 6th, right? Plus the 15 days here. Okay. All right. That's how my discount date. So I'll receive a 4% discount within 15 days plus 30 days extra. Maybe it's some kind of a special seasonal item or an item that's kind of um, on back order and they have to, you know, manufacture more. So it's, so it's November 5th, November 6th plus 15 plus 30 gives December 21st. Okay. The a net date of December 21st plus 20 days. Okay. Gives you January 10th. All right. So, okay, that concludes this video on Chapter 7.